Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to model this gable uh, gable roof house. So the main idea is to model to have this uh, edge. So from wall to roof. Okay. So let's start. So first, create a project and go 3d view um, wa wall and i'm going to create a new wall from this brick in here so du duplicate edit type duplicate with uh, metal cladding wall and uh, edit so i'll keep the timber structure i'll keep the air gap and i'm going to change this to a metal material so i'm cre I create a new material rename metal cladding okay so and also foreground i will have a, a surface pattern here and uh, create create a new pattern let's say 300 vertical and go change that to 90 degrees typing oh sorry hang on cancel so into a to be a new to be model okay so model create a new 300 vertical um, 90 degree and typing 300 and OK and OK and OK so I'll, I'll just um, 250 is fine I'll just keep these uh, dimensions here because I'm just I just want to show uh, uh, see the external pattern that's all so OK and OK so now create full wall here and then select them and change that to maybe three meter high. So roughly adjust adjust the size. So I think that's pretty much it. And then we need a roof on top of that. So roof. Um, I like to use ground floor with offset. And then OK and three meter high roof. And then I'll also um, edit type and duplicate. I'll name it as a, a metal roof and change. Change. Um, I'll just change this material to metal cladding, the same as the wall. Okay, so I don't worry about. I, I'm not. I'm not worrying about the uh, structure. So I just want to see the pattern. And OK. And OK. And pick wall. Tab select, and then select, uh, click on this one so you can see so either in interior side of the wall or exterior. So, and then because it, it's a gable roof, so uncheck these two line and also select these two and then change this um, to 44 degree and attach. So now we have this uh, shape. But we are seeing, um, you can see this is the side of the roof. We don't want to see that. So what we can do is go modify, uh, modify, paint. So, so see this metal cladding, yeah, and paint the side of this roof. So now um, we can join, join the roof and the wall. Roof and wall, roof and wall, and roof and wall. So now we just need to align AL, tab, 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 and last one, tab, tab, tab. So now we have this nice clean uh, shape gable roof so the the uh, continue from the wall to the roof okay so that's the first method so the second one so I'm just going to copy this full wall and then I'll create a new C CS create similar and ground floor again three meters that's fine pick wall tab select and go to the ex exterior side uncheck the slope and select this change slope to 45 degree and OK and this time I'll choo you, uh, uh, choose uh, don't attach and 
I'm going to. So for this method, I'm going to change this uh, rafter cut from plum um, cut to 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 maybe this one. Yeah. So okay. So now this is uh, it's flat. I'll just uh, align this wall up and then again okay, this height. So I'm just going to paste this height to the other side and then so. For the side for this wall, I'm just going to edit profile and pick wall and wall and then trim and delete this one and OK. And then so you see it's overlapping the wall and the roof. So I just use join and then um, I still I don't have materials that's the side of the roof. So instead of use paint, I can use switch join order. So now you can see the side of this wall. But because the wall is the same height of the roof, so you can see this line there. So what you can do is we, you can just edit profile, move it a little bit to maybe 10 mil. So now you can say that. So now, and also that's a line here. Just use join. Okay. Let's do it again. So um, for this side, Edit profile, pick pick line, and select the line. Move down 10 mil, and trim, and trim, and delete, and OK, and then join, and switch join, and also join this. Oops, yeah. So now this is the second one. So um, I'm going to. So this is the first one. So first one, you can just adjust the wall. The roof will follow. Follow the wall, no problem. So this one, so if you adjust this wall, that's fine. But if you adjust this wall, so you will see, because that's edit profile. So uh, to make it um, follow the, so make make the uh, the wall follow the roof. So what we can do is let me just Control Z, go back and then edit profile. So here I'm going to you can what you can do is uh, let's click on the back and then we can add the dimension there. So if you TL thing line DI, so you can just add a dimension there. So for example that's a seven seven millimeter. So you can lock this dimension. So now if if, if you go back and uh, if you adjust this side wall you can see. So this side, uh, I, I didn't lock, but this one, so you will see it's the same as this one, right? Okay, so now let's, uh, let me show you the last, last method, uh, the last one. So the last one, I'm going to use um, roof, roof by extrusion, but before that, I'm going to create a reference plan. So I'll name it, uh, maybe the roof. Sorry, O F, and then let me just go to 3D view and uh, roof by extrusion name pick this one, okay, and uh, doesn't make a difference. You can just choose whatever you like, and okay. And for this one, I'm going to draw roughly up, down, and okay. So now you have oh, this is ugly. <laughs> So uh, instead edit profile instead of just random draw that I'll just pick this this line okay so and uh, trim it and I'm just going to move it here yeah. so now I have the same same shape of this so instead of have the, the this these two side as wall so this will be the uh, one single roof okay so. Yeah, I think this is it's quite neat. It's quite yeah when, for for like a schematic design, it's quite easy to adjust. So that's it. That's it for today. Um, so let's go back to, to this image. So basically, it's just a wall continue to the roof. So this is today's task. So if you have any question, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching and uh, bye. <laughs>